Hey guys, and welcome to another Your Tech Report video. Today, we're unlocking the Benji Lock Fingerprint Enabled Smart Lock. Thanks for being here, guys. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It helps us bring more videos like this to you in the future. And that notification bell is pretty handy because you'll get an email notification whenever we've got a brand new video just like this to share with you. Finally, on SiriusXM, tune into your tech report every single week or tune into the podcast on your schedule on the podcast app of your choice. Let's talk about Benji Lock by Hampton. Now, Benji Lock is a company that I was introduced to at CES this year, and they have created a whole series of smart locks that have a fingerprint panel on the front. What does this mean? Well, let's go back to the story for a second. Founder Robbie got laid off from a really good job and he was kind of down in the dump so he started to work out and get in better shape. As he was going to the gym, he looked around he saw people putting stuff in lockers and trying to find places to either put their key or hide their key. And that was his light bulb moment that made him realize, wait a second, there's a better way to do this. Enter the Benji lock back in 2017. Now clearly this has gone through many iterations, but this, will, this little bad boy right here is just a simple padlock. You've got a fingerprint scanner on the front, you've got an LED indicator on the top, and you've got a little charging port in the bottom for a micro USB charger. I'm gonna go down to this camera here so you can get a closer look. You've got the fingerprint pad, you've got the LED indicator on the top, which you can see lights up, and you've got that charging port on the bottom. How do these locks work? Well, that's actually pretty simple. You put your fingerprint on it, it beeps, if it recognizes it, and it unlocks. Now, lots of people are asking, okay, is this reliable, will the battery die? Well, battery is meant to last up to six months on a single charge, six months. As I said, there's a couple variations of this lock. There's a TSA version that has a number pad on the side. You've got a, a version with a key in it. I've got the bicycle lock version over here, which we're gonna talk about in a second. This is, you know, looks like your traditional U-shaped bike lock, but underneath the panel on the side, fingerprint reader, LED, and a USB-C charging port. Uh, we're gonna get into this one in a second, which is really cool. These locks are available, really affordable price, pretty much the same price you'd pay for any, any padlock of this kind of style. Available at Home Depot, Lowe's, even Amazon, other retailers, depending where you want, just to look up, you know, Benji Lock by Hampton and you will find it. So let's talk about programming. Now, a lot of people are wondering, okay, how do you actually, can only one person use it? No, well, actually it can store up to 10 fingerprints and programming is actually quite simple. You have a master fingerprint, that's the first fingerprint that you register on the device. We're gonna go down to this camera. When you hold that finger on the device for five seconds, it enters what they call pairing mode. Once pairing mode is in there, or scanning mode, as they call it, um, you simply put your finger down. So there, what I did is I put my finger down once, lifted, put it down again, lifted five times, just like enrolling your fingerprint on a smartphone, and it registers that finger. And if you wanna do it again and over and over again, you just rinse and repeat for up to 10 fingers. And it works the same way if we move over to the bicycle lock over here. So the bicycle lock is a little bit different. It's a, it's a, you know, a U-shaped bike lock that is as strong as you'd expect any bike lock to be. So if you're perhaps using this on your Super 73 uh, bike or any other electric bike for that matter, or any bike, for that matter, uh, it's gonna keep your bike secure just like any other U-shaped lock. So how does it work? Well, you pop in the lock over there, you press and scan the fingerprint and it will actually lock the lock. So how does this one differ from the other smart locks? Well, it doesn't really differ at all other than the form factor. It is a solid U-shaped lock on the side. When we go down here, you can see you've got a fingerprint reader, you've got the LED light and you've got a little rubberized area here that hides the USB type C connector, which is pretty cool. And then when you're done, you simply slide that little panel over there and people don't even know that it's a smart lock by first glance. Now there is a backup option on this one here on the bottom of it. There is a rubberized area that if I had nails, I'd be able to open for you, but instead I'll take a, a key over here. And this does have a keyhole as you can see over there. And if you need to, you just pop your key in, turn it and you can unlock your lock. So that is Benji Lock by Hampton. Do check it out at your online retailers or of course, Home Depot, Amazon, uh, Lowe's, wherever you shop for padlocks of this kind, they should have Benji Lock. If not, make sure you ask for it by name. Benji Lock by Hampton, a very cool device. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you've got any comments, let us know down below. 
Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you don't like it, just don't do anything, just go away. Thank you for watching, we will catch you on the next video.